Welcome to join me learn about intercycle intubation presented by Junaidi. Intertracheal intubation. Definition. Introducing a tube through the mouth or nose into the trachea to secure open airways. Advantage. Protect the airway from expiration. For suctioning of secretion, not cause gastric distension and regurgitation. Maintain the pattern airway. Delivery aerosol medication. Indication the trachea intubation. Respiratory failure, inability to ventilate, maintenance intake airway, cardiac arrest, medication administration. Contraindication. Inability extend head, trauma to cervical spine or anterior necks, infection epiglossal area, mandibular fracture or trismus, mild hypoxia, oropharyngeal hemorrhagic, intact tracheostomy, basilar skull fracture. Complication in the tracheal intubation. Hypoxia, pneumothorax, trauma, hypertension and tachycardia, gastric and regurgitation, cardiac arrhythmia. Difficult to intubation, cold, baked mold, muscle, obesity or estrogen, age over 5 to 5 kilograms. Not teeth and stiff. Difficult to laryngoscopy and intubation. It's called lemons. Look externally. Evaluate 332. Malam Patti score. PSPU grade 1. Next mobility. Scan and situation. Oral intubation with local anesthetic. Apply 10% lidocaine spray. Two or three speed. Equipment in the trachea intubation. Laryngoscope. Blades and the tracheal tube of various size. Lubricant, malleable stylet, 10 mm cylinders. Oxygen, suction apparatus, stethoscope, steric glove and goggles, oropharyngeal airway, CO2 detector. Let's see the picture. Now, procedure to into, intrusal care intubation. Position patient head. Position yourself at the patient head. See the picture. Suction if necessary. Hyperventilate with 10% oxygen for approximate one minute. Bring your body down to the airway level with laryngoscopes. This is a laryngoscopic view. Intubation technique. Head in the left hand, insert the blade into the right side of the mouth displacing the tongue. Expand the tip into the follicular. 
the glottical opening is called a shutting of what? Traction of the handle. A lawful visual session of the vocal cord. Assistant can employ the cellist maneuver. During ventilation, confirm the proper tube placement. First, escorted abdomen while facial session chest expansion. Then, escorted the chest bilaterally, ensuring equal breath sound. Secure the tube in the place using the tube holder and the cloth tape. This picture is two placement in the X-ray. And the last documentation and the second two placement. Let we see this video. Ensure that the equipment is prepared and check that the laryngoscope is working and the cuff on the tube inflates and deflates properly. Pre-oxygenate the patient with bag and mask ventilation for up to one minute before attempting to intubate. Standing behind the patient with the head in the sniffing the morning air position, with the left hand, insert the curved blade of the laryngoscope into the mouth over the right side of the tongue, displacing it to the left and upwards. Advance the laryngoscope slightly until the tip of the epiglottis can be seen posterior to the back of the tongue. Advance the tip of the laryngoscope blade into the vellecula between the epiglottis and the tongue. With the handle of the laryngoscope pointing away from you at 45 degrees, lift upwards and away to lift up the tongue and epiglottis to display the vocal cords and the laryngeal opening. With the right hand, insert the endotracheal tube from the right-hand side of the mouth directly between the cords and into the trachea until the cuff passes through the cords. The markings on the tube at the incisors will show between 21 and 24 centimeters in the average-sized adult when the tube is in position. Remove the laryngoscope and inflate the cuff with approximately 15 mils of air to prevent air leaking during ventilation. Attach the tube to the bag and valve apparatus and ventilate the patient with the oxygen flow on 12 to 15 litres per minute. Confirm the position of the tube by auscultating over the apices of the lungs, the axillae and the stomach. If it is not in the correct position, deflate the cuff and remove the tube. Resort back to bag and mask ventilation and repeat the intubation process from the beginning. Thank you to join us.